What to expect in labor? Labor starts when your baby is ready to be born. Contractions will come at regular intervals and get longer, stronger, and closer together. Your cervix will slowly thin and open until it's fully open and you're ready to push out your baby. This often takes many hours of labor. In this video, you will learn about what to expect in labor and how people around you can support, guard, and guide your labor to make it safer and easier. Birth attendants watch over and support laboring women. She will gather important information and check signs periodically that tell her how you and your baby are coping with labor. Your pulse, blood pressure and temperature, your baby's position, her heart rate, and how frequent and strong your contractions are coming. These signs tell her whether your labor is going well. Every so often, she will do a gentle internal exam to check how open your cervix is and how far your baby has come. This tells her how your labor is progressing. Your birth attendant should treat you with kindness and respect. She should monitor your labor attentively, follow safe and clean procedures, and practice up-to-date standards of care. The birth attendant should explain what's going on in simple, clear language, let you know what you might feel during a procedure, and ask for your permission before doing anything. If you don't want something done, ask her for more information and know that it is always your right to say no. Your privacy should be respected and you should be able to labor in a quiet space separated by curtains, screens or walls. Labor can be more difficult if you are afraid or tense. Have support from a trusted person of your choice someone who cares about you and will help you. The constant support of a companion can help you relax and experience less pain. It's important to move and walk during labor. Being upright helps you make progress. Standing and moving, squatting, being on all fours, and other upright positions can make your labor move faster. Lying on your back can slow your labor and may make contractions more painful. To save your strength, also rest on your side between contractions even when labor first begins. Touch may help you relax in labor. Rubbing your lower back during contractions is calming. Your companion can also massage your back and shoulders between contractions. Pressing firmly on the base of your spine is especially helpful if you feel labor in your back. Take fluids frequently. When you're in labor, you use up the water and energy in your body quickly. Drink at least a cup of fluid every hour. Water and also high energy fluids such as tea, fruit juice, and honey. You can get exhausted, and your labor can be much longer and harder if you don't drink enough. Don't forget to urinate every few hours. A full bladder can slow your labor. You can pass your urine into a container where you are if you don't want to walk. Labors are all different. Some are fast. Some are slow. This is normal. But in a healthy labor, there should be progress. Contractions get longer, stronger, and closer together, and your cervix slowly opens. 
at some point, your waters will break. You may vomit. And you will feel like pushing. All these signs mean that labor is progressing and your baby may soon be born. Remember, take fluids frequently. Alternate moving and walking with resting during labor. Have support from a trusted person of your choice.